What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another Bama Saltwater Fishing episode. If this is your first time tuning to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and if you already have, I really appreciate you. I am in the mood for some fried fish po' boys today. I already have the ingredients for the po' boys, I just need the fish. So I got a lot of frozen fish at home, but I'd like to go out and try to catch some fresh ones. So I'm gonna try to catch anything that I can eat that's edible and tastes good, such as mangrove snapper, speckled trout, maybe redfish. And if you're in the south, you know how everything's freaking wet in the morning. See how dry my windshield is now? Because I use these better boat dry towels it's just a synthetic chamoy all it is is a super absorbent towel and i wipe up my seat wipe up my windshield my whole dash my whole steering wheel here and that makes a big difference in the morning when you don't have to sit your butt in a wet seat so definitely go check those out i'll link that down in the description below this will be very fun stay tuned let's get into some exciting fishing adventures all right, it's still pretty dark, but I'm gonna be starting out throwing this Yozuri top water. This is a top knock pencil in bone. I have 20 pound monofilament leader because when you're using a top water, you wanna use a mono leader because it floats. I'm throwing this on a Pen Clash 2 4000, 20 pound Yozuri braid, and then a seven and a half foot medium fast St. Croix Avid Inshore rod. All right, I'm gonna take this Yozuri top water and see what we can do here. There's a fish. Oh, I bet that's a ladyfish, I think. Maybe not. Yeah, that's a ladyfish or a bluefish. And he came off. I don't want that thing. That was either a ladyfish or a big bluefish. I don't want either of those. So, popped him off before I get the boat all bloody. Oh, there's another. Come on, they're chasing me. I'm into school or something. Wasn't even looking. Dang, porpoise is right here, though. He's going to scare every good fish away. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Come on. Come on. Ah, right at the boat. Mm, good fish. Oh, what do I have? I have something pretty big. Mm, ah, let's see what it is. Mm, pretty big fish. Dang, is that a sail cat on top water? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That is a sail cat on top water, dude. No way, man. That is a big old sail cat, too. On my Yozuri plug. What? That is crazy, man. There you go. Man, that's the last thing I expected. All right, that sail cat just ate my Yozuri plug. Oh, man, and the porpoise is working this bait school hard. Ah. That's just gorgeous. <laughs> the sun hasn't even risen yet. It's beautiful. All right, last cast, and then I'm gonna go try to use some live bait here on some reefs, because that was my main. Oh, okay. Well, never mind. Ah, oh, it's gonna get me around the sun. Ah, oh. ah. The heck do I got? I got something freaking huge. Okay, never mind. <laughs> uh, I just hope it doesn't wrap me around the sun. What the heck do I got? I got a freaking giant. Holy crap, dude. It's gonna wrap me around. Oh, hold up. I hope I don't lose this fish. Mm, mm, mm. It's gonna wrap me around that time. I think I got a big jack on. Mm. I'm gonna have to winch it in. I have to winch it around the sign here. Mm. Ah, uh, I just want to see you. I know there's a weak spot in that leader somewhere. Oh, it might be a redfish or a big jack. One of the two. Come on. It's a big old fish. I know I'm not talking much. I'm doing a lot of things at one time. I think that's a big old redfish. Holy crap. Big red, oh my goodness. That's a big red. <laughs> big red fish. Ah. He's in the boat. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's a giant red. Whew. All right. 
Check out this freaking redfish. This thing's huge. I'm gonna get it back in the water. I wanna keep it out of the water as least as possible. But golly, what a beautiful fish. Check that out. Okay, <laughs> this is awesome. All right, time to get you back in the water. Oh, there it goes. Bye bye, big, beautiful redfish. <sighs> <laughs> what a freaking stud fish all right i'm done for that one i'm gonna head over and use some live shrimp because that was freaking awesome and that redfish was on this yozuri top knock pencil you can see i'm still kind of shaking because i was about to lose that fish but on this bone colored yozuri top knock pencil i'll include it down in the description below if you want to pick one up i love yozuri baits you see me use them all the time and this bait right here has paid off this morning I'm gonna put the trolling motor down. I've gotten to one of the inshore reefs here. To fish a lot of these reefs, I like to use live shrimp, which I have in my angle bait cooler. And all I'm using is a size two owner Mewtwo light circle hook. And then I got that coming to 15 pound Yazuri fluorocarbon, about two feet of it, one a long leader. I have a small barrel swivel to prevent line twists when I'm using these shrimp. And then right above my barrel swivel, I pinched on a small split shot weight. I kept these shrimp overnight and look how good this angle keeps them alive. So one just jumped out on me, so I'm gonna take him. All right, now I'm gonna head hook these right behind the horn so they can live a long time until they get eaten by something. And there we go. All right, we're marking a good reef here. There is some fish hanging around this reef. I'm gonna drop down a shrimp, see what we can do right over here. All right, got a nice lively shrimp. I'm gonna drop it down. There's a good bite. Just ripped it out of my hand here. All right, I still got it. All right, good. Let's see what it is. Feels like it might be a tiny little mangrove. Yeah, he ain't gonna be a keeper. That's a little 10 inch mangrove, but beautiful snapper. These are mangrove snapper, or they're known as gray snapper as well. They do have some teeth. You have to have a reef fish endorsement to keep them in the state of Alabama, along with the saltwater fishing license. And they have to be 12 inches, so he's not big enough to gonna toss him back. Switch to a popping cork, and I'm gonna put this live shrimp on this popping cork here. I'm just using a size one owner hook and then 15 pound Missouri floor carb and a small little split shot and then a bomber titanium popping cork. But uh, we're just gonna toss this popping cork out by these docks. See if we can pick up some sort of fish here. All right, got him, whatever it is. We'll see what he is. Well, he's got some weight to it, so. Hmm, curious. Whoa, nice mangrove, all right. Oh yeah, that's a keeper right there. All right, these mangroves have to be 12 inches, so let's measure them, but I'm pretty sure this one's a keeper. Heck yeah, nice keeper mangrove. He's going in the cooler, and he's gonna be our po' boy fried fish play. I'm gonna cast out one more shrimp, then I'm gonna make a move. It is not happening right now. I did manage one nice mangrove. That bull red was freaking awesome this morning. If I can just get like one more decent fish, I think I'll be good. And ah, I don't know, that didn't feel like a pin fish. Ah, came off. All right, well, that was a decent fish, enough for me to throw on one more shrimp here. All right, there he is. Let's see if we can get him out of his dock and see what it actually is. Ah, decent sized fish. Come on. What is it? Oh, that might be a keeper mangrove yeah heck yeah i got another keeper mangrove so he ended up being 12 and a half inches that's where we're at right now barely legal but he's legal so he's going in the cooler look at the color difference between the two one of them's been sitting on ice that top one has and that other one just came out of the water so pretty cool put on another shrimp i'm gonna make a couple more casts see if there's any more keeper mangrove here i was about to move but then i got a nice bite oh there's one. Oh yeah there may be more down there this one doesn't feel like it's a keeper but it's a fish. No, he ain't a keeper. There you go. Okay, there's a decent one. Yeah, that's what I want. Come on. Be a keeper. Be a keeper. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Mm. Barely, but he is 12 inches, so he's going in the cooler. Heck yeah, man. So now that I got some fish that I'm keeping, I'm gonna take some salt water. This is bay water, but it's salty enough, and mix it in with my ice. 
And all that salt water does is it makes a slush in here. So 100% of the surface area of these fish are touching something really cold. It brings down that temperature of that eye and your meat will be a lot firmer when you get home and start cleaning them. Alrighty, I got three beautiful mangroves, but these are gonna be great on a freaking po' boy if you've ever had one. So let's throw those on the ice and head back. All right, it's time to take my fish out. Beautiful mangrove snapper. All right, I have three beautiful mangrove snappers. So they're barely legal, you know, 12 and a half and 13 inches, but legal is legal. So I'm gonna fillet this up and then fry them up so I can make my po' boy sandwich. All I have here is just a Dexter knife. You've seen it before. They're made in the US. They're very affordable and you get a lot for what you pay for. Just gonna do a simple cut here, just like you would any other fish right behind the gills. And then just go through the back here, really easy. And then use my fillet knife to fillet this meat off the bone here. Running your knife right along this bone, their whole bones here. And run it through but don't cut it all the way off the tail at least i don't and then you can flip this fillet over and what i do is i take this electric bubba blade it's a cordless model the lithium model i love this knife but i use it mainly for this reason that's skinning it does a really good job and there's a beautiful mangrove snapper fillet not too much red meat in there i will go out and trim the pin bones like anything and i'm just going to do that for every single one of these here all right i got the fillets where there's no skin no bones or any hardly any red meat in there i'm just going to spray them off and take them upstairs and get them ready to fry it is a nice day a little bit of a breeze okay i am going to make a po' boy sandwich with that fried mangrove snapper got some vegetable oil which i already have heating up to 350 degrees in my fryer have some fish fry this one's pretty good this is a mccormick fish fry and what i'm going to do is mix it with some my chef paul's seafood magic seasoning i have some nice rolls here sandwich rolls from rouse's They're very fresh very soft rolls perfect for a po boy sandwich i got some shredded lettuce i'm going to slice up this tomato beautiful tomato too got a lemon to squeeze on my fish some louisiana rumelade sauce i don't know if i'm saying that right added spice is this tabasco chipotle flavored which is so good I'm gonna let my oil get warm, come to 350 degrees. And what I'm gonna do is mix my chef paws and my fish fry together in a bowl. So I really don't need that much. All right, that's perfect there. Got a decent scoop here. I'm gonna give us some of that seasoning. All I'm gonna do is shake this up so it's evenly mixed here. All right, check that out. That is a perfect batter. And I'm just gonna do a dry batter. I'm not using egg wash. Okay, the light's gone off, so it's at 350 degrees. I'm gonna take my beautiful mangrove snapper here. Check that out. And then my batter and let's fry them get a nice good coating on there all right there you go if your fryer is not bubbling when you stick them in your grease is not hot enough you need to let it get warmer i usually do 350 degrees it has a thermometer on there it does pretty good and it'll take about five minutes for these to be done because they're pretty thin fillets and a thin batter last piece luckily they're small fillets so they were able to all fit in there. You don't want to overcrowd your grease, but you also don't want to only fry one because then it gets too hot. I'm gonna let these fry up and get golden crispy. All right, these fish are almost finished. I have a paper towel inside of a Tupperware here to drain that excess oil off when I put them in. Okay, these fish are done, so I'm gonna start putting them in my Tupperware here. Let them drain off. Look at that beautiful piece. Man, perfect sandwich size. We're going to let all those cool down and drain while we prep our sandwich. I have sliced my tomato and my lemon, and I have my two sandwich breads ready. I'm going to take my rumelade sauce and spread that out on one of my sandwich rolls here. Mmm, smells pretty good. Okay, I'm going to take my lettuce here, put some on. It's going to be a little messy. Nothing too crazy. Take my tomatoes. Two tomato slices. I'm gonna take my fried mangrove snapper here. Literally just caught it this morning, so you can't get any fresher than that. I love fresh fish. And this is still really hot, but this is my mangrove snapper. I'm gonna put it on there. Beautiful white flaky meat. Kind of want to try some real quick. Mm. Oh man, that's really good. Okay, yeah, now I'm even more excited to eat. Now I'm gonna take a slice of lemon and squeeze it over my fish. And everything that I'm doing is all personal preference. It's just what I'm doing and what I had available. Everybody has their own way of doing it, and this is just my way. Last but not least, I'm going to take some of this smoked Chipotle Tabasco here. Not too much. Give it a nice little drizzle here. 
Now it's ready to eat. Alrighty, check that out. I'm gonna get ready to close it and try some of that. Man, that fish by itself was delicious, so I can't wait to try it with some of that remoulade sauce and everything else in there. I've always eaten po' boys at pretty much every restaurant I've gone to, especially before I joined the Army, and so it's nice to be able to make one at home out of some fresh fish and vegetables. And that adds on to the flavor, is the personal aspect of it. But I'm gonna put the topper on this and try not to burn my mouth with that hot fish, but I'm ready to eat. All right, it's time to take a bite of this with some fish, tomato, remoulade sauce, lettuce, some of that Tabasco. Let's try it. Hmm. Man, that is better than a lot I've had in restaurants. So, man, that's so good. I'm gonna take another bite. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but that remoulade sauce by Louisiana, Holy crap, that goes on there very nice with the fish. And along with that little bit of that Chipotle Tabasco, just makes it a nice combination. That's better than a lot of restaurants I've had it in. So I'm gonna continue to eat this and we'll do a close out on the video because I wanna finish my lunch. That po' boy sandwich hit the spot. But this is freaking delicious because I know where that fish came from. And holy crap, is that some fresh tasting fish in there. Mangrove snapper is one of my favorite fish, if not my favorite fish to eat. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you already have, I really appreciate you. If you enjoyed this video, give me that thumbs up, that like button down below as well. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Don't forget to go check out my social media pages, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all that to keep up with some cool stuff. But I appreciate you watching. We'll see you on the next episode. We want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later.